if you go into a bar and start talking to strangers and you tell them that you uh, are a Shakespeare scholar, I can tell you from experience, you will get asked one of two questions, uh, depending upon the kind of bar you're in. Either uh, did Shakespeare write those plays or was Shakespeare gay? Uh, as for the uh, did he write the plays question, uh, yeah, the answer is absolutely, positively. Uh, the anti-Stratfordians, they've been around for about a century, uh, although they haven't really been an earnest force uh, except for about 90 years. Uh, they, they have yet to offer uh, an alternative candidate who is at all uh, acceptable. Um, the uh, poster child for their movement, Edward de Vere, 17th Earl of Oxford, uh, died before Shakespeare's plays uh, were all in print or performed. Uh, how could he write a play like The Tempest, which relies upon New World information that didn't even exist when he was alive? Uh, in any case, though, there is a, 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 what you could call an environmental argument uh, uh, that comes into play here that might be of interest to you. Uh, uh, and this is uh, essentially, uh, this has been put forward by an English scholar named Jonathan Bate, uh, who looks at Shakespeare's plays and notices uh, that again and again in them, there are lines and passages uh, that demonstrate uh, very clear awareness of the local ge geography of the Midlands and Warwickshire in particular. Uh, at the beginning of um, The Taming of the Shrew, for instance, Christopher Sly uh, refers to a couple of very small hamlets uh, in Warwickshire located right outside of Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, in uh, the Henry IV plays, uh, Falstaff actually goes up into Warwickshire to raise a, a troop of soldiers and he encounters Prince Hal there who says to him, what the devil are you doing in Warwickshire? Uh, in As You Like It, uh, the uh, forest in which, uh, to which the characters repair, the Forest of Arden, is um, nominally uh, located in uh, France, but in fact there is a, a Forest of Arden in Warwickshire itself. Uh, a forest that's being exploited for squatting and timber in Shakespeare's day, a forest Shakespeare could not help but know uh, since his mother uh, was uh, named Mary Arden uh, before she married his father. Uh, this, uh, uh, the Ardens, a, a landholding family in Warwickshire uh, who uh, date their pedigree back to before the uh, Norman Conquest. Uh, and uh, who's, uh, who have imparted their names to that, that particular forest. So here's, uh, here are the plays of Shakespeare again and again registering very precise geographical knowledge of this very limited spot of England, something that nobody else writing for the stage at the same time does. You won't find these kinds of geographical references in Marlowe, you won't find them in Johnson, you won't find them in Middleton, only in Shakespeare. And the question is, you know, if Shakespeare didn't write these plays, then what person that knowledgeable about Warwickshire did. There aren't that many to choose from. In fact, there are none. So, um, uh, you know, from, from the ecological standpoint, you could say that, that the burden is on the anti-Stratfordians to prove that somebody else uh, uh, who, who knew that area could have written the plays.